All right, first, Starbucks. Now we have McDonald's. Consumer sentiment is in the pooper. It is not there, guys. It is gone. Uh, even though we have these universities and economists out there coming out with real information, they are told to suppress it, to make everything look rosy, unicorns, and rainbows, and it is not the case. Uh, people have maxed out their credit cards. Credit card debt is at the all-time high. Credit card delinquencies are at all-time high. Car repos are at all-time high. Oh, my God. People are not even paying their mortgages. They're not uh, doing upkeep on their houses or their cars. It's just not looking good. Uh, you, you can't even... I don't know. It's just everywhere. So, first, we did a thing on Starbucks. People are not spending 7 bucks anymore on their cafe latte, uh, their ice mocha china, uh, their caramel mochiata. Or the Cafe Americano. <laughs> they just aren't doing it, man. They're realizing, oh my God, I'm going broke. I can't afford this crap anymore. And you can't listen to the mainstream propagandists anymore. Uh, we are in a authoritarian communist society right now, I believe. And they're pushing out this mainstream narrative. Canada's worse with their C... What is it? C Canadian CBC? I can't remember their main network too. They're, it's all government propaganda stuff. But anyway, they're pushing out the numbers, making it, trying to keep the sentiment up for the election year. Uh, I don't know. People have had it. They know it's bad. Gas is going back up. Like I said, all the other stuff with the credit card debt. It's expensive. So now we got McDonald's. First, we did Starbucks. People not affording those lattes. Uh, and or realizing they can go to the local mom and pa and get actually a better product. I dumped my Starbucks stock probably two months ago. And made out okay, not too bad. Um, I was a dividend reinvesting diehard, but when you are gonna lose all that capital appreciation you made on the stock, I just said done. I dumped ninety percent of my dividend stocks right before it all started to go south again. You know, went a little bit south. Uh, why did I do that? I saw all the billionaires out there. J uh, Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan. Bezos of Amazon, uh, that Bill Gates guy, the, uh, the dude with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, they dumped 80% of their equities. Um, there was another dude too. They kept dumping. Everyone's dumping, dumping, dumping. So I figured these billionaires know what they're doing. I followed suit, tried to get in the cash as much as possible, playing a little bit of money with the Bitcoin, as you well know. But Bitcoin is kind of hovering. It's staying flat. It's consolidating. I mean, it's got to go up. If this thing does not go up as I hope and I expect it's going to go in the next couple of weeks or into June, then I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe the correction on everything's going to come sooner than the election. They're not going to be able to prop it up. But we have August coming up with the, um, oh, those Fed people meet in the, uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where they took over the town, forced all the good people out. So they have to drive an hour to work to get to Jackson Hole to do their job. And uh, they have to drop over the mountain passes and that. It's just, they just took over that area and ruined it. But money is power. So anyway, we got McDonald's, guys. Look at this. McDonald's is down 368. We're down to 272. They still pay a dividend, big whoop. I'm so over dividends. Because, you know, when they do pay the dividends, say the share price is $100 a share, it, of course, goes down because they have to take the money from somewhere. And the uh, share price reflects that. So I'm going to jump into some of these articles real quick. We'll try to keep this one under, under 10 minutes. So here we have fast food feels more expensive than ever before, and people are sick of it. And here's why. Let's just hit some of the main points. Uh, as you know, in California, of all places, the uh, worst state, worst run state politically, government-wise, ever. I don't know how people can afford to live there. I lived there for a few years. It, they just tax the crap out of you. And uh, they make it seem like elections and uh, propositions make a difference. It's just really hopium for the masses, and it means nothing. It's a one-party authoritarian state, and you're going to do what they say, and you're going to like it. So they passed the $20 minimum wage thing. What, what does that do? It either causes these fast food places to fire lots of people and also or raise the price of their product. So we have fast food going up where the common man can no longer afford the crap. It's not even healthy anyway, but it used to be something quick and dirty to go get something to eat for under 10 bucks. Now you're getting out of there maybe 20 bucks. And then people are realizing, well, I can go to Applebee's. I can go to Chili's. I can go to Chipotle. 
and get spend the same money and get a lot better food. So it's just funny. People are realizing they cannot afford it, and McDonald's knows it. Uh, they tried to shrink inflation the thing. Where a you know Big Mac used to be a decent size hamburger, now it's like a tenth the size. It's like almost a McNugget now for twice as much. It's just insane. Uh, it's not even a meme. Go get one of those things. It's like what is going on here? But I never eat there. Last night I was trying to get to the gas station right before it is a McDonald's, and a uh, guy was pulling in, and a couple of people were pulling. I'm going, really? People still eat this crap? They go in there and spend all that money at McDonald's. I thought Starbucks was bad. Uh, that makes you run to the to, to the pooper. And uh, you're on there praying, oh, sweet baby Jesus, take the wheel. McDonald's not much better. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I just don't know why people do it. I don't know, maybe they're brainwashed. It's people, are, you know, humans are easily persuaded to do stupid things. Um, yeah, so people are doing that. And then uh, I was going to get my most expensive gas at four, almost four bucks a gallon where I'm at. And I just go, why are people going to McDonald's? They can't afford it. What is happening? I don't know. So here we got over here, analysts say fast food prices feel particularly painful because they're rising faster than grocery prices. Yeah, it used to be the way to go out, get something to eat real quick, but again, it's not healthy. I don't know why people do it. Just go to the freaking supermarket, buy something, make it, put it in wrappers, and you're good all week. But it takes work. I know people are lazy. Um, let's see. Fast food isn't as cheap as it used to be. Uh, they know, they said, the, the McDonald's people aren't totally stupid. They know that the average working man cannot afford to eat there anymore. It used to be a cheap go-to place to fill people up, but no, not any longer. And again, you're not really filling up, filling up with nutri nutritious food. It's just garbage. Um, yeah. Uh, they've been shooting up. And then if you see, they shot up 150% at McDonald's. Here's the earnings. Yeah, this is this is the earnings going up. And now California, their $20 an hour earnings. And it's just destroying the small, I mean, the fast food industry and making the prices go through the roof. Uh, let's see, labor. I'm not going to, I'm just showing you the highlights here. Yeah. They put up the menu prices to reflect the higher food costs and payrolls. Price increases have varied massively by chain depending on factors such as type of food locations, number of restaurants. Franchisees are largely able to see, set their own prices. Yeah, I think a lot of McDonald's guys, I think some are going out of business. They just can't keep up. Uh, grocery inflation is cooling. Don't believe it. Uh, have you gone to the grocery store lately? Oh, my God. Um, let's see. I'm trying to say there's nothing really in here. Yeah, diners are getting fed up. Price increases during the scandemic were actually well absorbed by consumers uh, because the vast majority of restaurants were upping their prices. Okay, yeah. But as inflation falls, we'd expect consumers to be less tolerant of the big price increases. Yeah, they, to go out for two people, let's say, no, oh, let's just say Chipotle. You're going to go out there. You're probably going to get out of there 50 bucks or something. It's ridiculous. You go to five guys. Holy crap. And you add extra patty, get the fries and a drink. For one person, it's probably 25 bucks. It's insane. Why would you do that? Good way to go broke. All right, let's look at this one quick. Uh, it's not just McDonald's, but that's the one in the spotlight right now. Fast food chains are getting the message about soaring prices. But what are you going to do about it? Just don't eat there, man. Send the message. Go eat at other places. Eat healthier. Go to the supermarket. Buy your own food and make it. Oh, what a concept. Yeah. Um, care Some are being careful. I think Applebee's is smart. They're taking advantage of this. They're seeing how these fast food places, um, McDonald's and the other ones, Wendy's, are getting the backlash or seeing that they're losing their uh, base and uh, they're, mar they're marketing great deals to go to Applebee's, have a sit down, blah, blah, blah. Of course, you got to give a tip and all that, but you know, you got to weigh that and you have better food. So, mm, you know what I mean? So, Apple's is actually smart. Uh, corporations are in competition with each other. You think they're all together, but no, they're competing. So, it's good to see Applebee's going at it and trying to get that market share away from these fast food places. Um, here it is. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for this paragraph. The CFO, cheap, uh, cheap, I was going to say criminal finance officer of McDonald's, Eon. It sounds like a, sounds like an, a Bond villain, Ian Borden, in my volcano. He told his McVestors, I get it, McVestors, like McChicken. Huh? He told his McVestors that consumers were price weary and certainly dining out less often. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, they, they became a bit more sensitive to price, but they will eat our swill and pay the extra price and like it. That's what he said, too. Now, he didn't say that, but I'm sure he said that, too. I'm sure these corporations all have nothing but contempt for their customers. 
Uh, let's see, chains such as McDonald's, Burger King, Shake Shack, uh, Wendy's posted sluggish U.S. comparable sales with poor growth rate compared with uh, what they posted in the first quarter of last year. Yeah, things are slowing. Prices are going up. Uh, here you can see the Q1 to 2023 to Q1 2024, just a 2.5% growth. Starbucks is down as we saw. Oh my God, KFC is down. Oh my God, just seeing this stuff. I can't, I can't even imagine eating at any of these places and not worrying about where the nearest toilet is. Oh my God. Yeah, okay, yeah, Starbucks is the worst one. What's the other article I wanted to show you? Let's get this video wrapped up. Yeah, I'm a minute over, sorry. Um, they continue to rise. You might just need to take out a second mortgage to afford that next quarter pounder with the cheese combo. And this is out, this is getting everywhere. So it's spreading like wildfire. People realize it's too expensive to go out. You know, you got all of a sudden an $18 Big Mac meal doesn't seem as shocking. Uh, let's see, 10 piece mugget, McNugget meal has increased by 83%, while an order of medium fries has increased by 138%. Um, what I, what the oh, that's what I was reading. The McDonald's sandwich, uh, they have increased as 168 percent. I thought it was 150. Wow. So there you go. I just want to hit on that. It's just outlandish. If you guys are eating this swill, this crap, and throwing on uh, liquid candy soda on top of it, what are you doing to your bodies, man? Jeez. Go to a food truck. It's gonna be less, and it's gonna be a, probably a little bit better for you. Or just go to the grocery store, get some sandwich. And make your own food. Oh, my God. Anyway, on that note, it's bad. Are you guys feeling? Are you feeling a pinch? I do not like eating out. If I go out, I try to get specials. And, again, two people, you're not getting out there for under. Uh, if you have drinks and you go to a sit-down, oh, my God, 150 bucks, 100 to 150 bucks. If you don't get drinks, 100 bucks. But you got to, only 150 with tip. It's, and that's a sit-down place. But fast food, like I said, you go to Five Guys, which I always thought was way overpriced. Yeah, probably with the burger, the basic little sloppy burger and the fries and a soda. I think it's 25 bucks where I'm at, 22 to 25 bucks. It's insane. I don't know, what do you guys think? What is happening? I think this is a house of cards. I think we're gonna go through the 70s, the lost decade. The economy is so bad. The people in charge are just robbing us blind and corporations are out of control. Car dealers are, can't get rid of the cars. They're even getting repoed from the dealer's lots because to get the cars on the lot, they had to take out loans from banks to get those cars on the lot. They can't pay them. Boom, repo men are coming to the dealerships and taking the cars to repo them and go for them. They got greedy. Manufacturers got greedy. Dealerships got really greedy. They're soulless people. And, uh, you know, karma, hell of a thing. Best thing to do, guys, stay home. Make your dinners. Don't spend money on some crap you don't need to. If you don't need Netflix, cut it. 15 bucks a month adds up. Cut out your Starbucks runs, your fast food crap. And are you really that hungry? If you're addicted to it, drink water. Fill your tummy up and then you won't be as hungry. I don't know. Easier said than done. But I need the useful idiots out there too. People are going to keep doing what they're going to do all the way to the poorhouse. Anyway, I thought this was interesting. It's just another brick in the wall, basically. I hate to use that expression, but you got Starbucks, fast food, cars, uh, gas prices, grocery prices. Stocks are now teetering. Bitcoin can save us, maybe. We'll see. That's my hope. All right, on that note, stay away from the fast food. I'm out.